Hey man, I found this cool new game called Send Me to Heaven. You should give it a try. Like basically you throw your phone in the air and the higher it goes, the more points you get. Uh, no, no, you can't just bring it to a high place because it doesn't know how high it actually is. It just measures how long it's in the air. Uh, it knows how long it's in the air because it uses a MEMS accelerometer, which is a tiny device that can measure acceleration. To understand how it works, we'll have to talk about two other things first, springs and capacitors. A spring is a coil of metal that can lengthen and contract, and according to Hooke's law, its change in length is directly proportional to the amount of force applied on it. A spring will exert the same amount of force in the opposite direction. Now imagine if you attached a mass to the end of a spring, and you pulled on it and let it go. It would be accelerating because of the force exerted by the spring. And according to Newton's second law, its acceleration would be directly proportional to the force applied on it. As you can see, for a spring mass system, acceleration is related to length. A capacitor is an electronic component that stores electrical charge. It consists of two parallel metal plates separated by an insulating material. Typically, when voltage is applied to an electrical circuit, electrons will flow from the negative end to the positive end. However, the electrons cannot cross over the plates in a capacitor because the gap is too wide, and so electrical charge will build up between the plates. The amount of charge built up by a given voltage is called capacitance, and in theory, capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. So in this case, length is related to capacitance. So if you somehow combine a spring mass system with a capacitor, then you would be able to derive acceleration from capacitance. This is where MEMS comes into play. MEMS stands for Microelectromechanical Systems. They can go as small as a few microns, and the mechanical structure of these systems play a large role in their performance, unlike regular electrical circuits. Here's what a MEMS accelerometer might look like. A small mass is attached to a substrate using springs, and on the mass are plates, which are each surrounded by two plates connected to the substrate. If the mass were to move, the distance from each plate to its surrounding plates would change, and by measuring the change in capacitance, the acceleration in that direction can be calculated. Three of these placed orthogonal to each other would allow you to measure acceleration in 3D space. In addition to measuring acceleration, this device is useful for measuring the orientation of an object, because gravity is always acting on the mass and always pulls downwards. This is why your phone can do this. Oh, you're trying it out? Great. Hello?